How's it going Geometry Class? Welcome to 4.1 Congruent Figures. Okay, you're going to be happy. We don't have any proofs in this section, so go ahead and cheer. This is your shot, go for it. I want to see if I can hear you. Heard it. Okay. Congruent figures. Congruent figures are any two figures that have congruent corresponding parts. They're matching side angles. When you name the congruent polygons, you must list corresponding vertices in the same order. This is important, you guys. Like if you look here, on this figure, A corresponds with E. So if you start with A, it has to be in the same spot E is. You can see here B corresponds with F. They're the congruent angle. So where you see B, that's where F has to be. Okay. Ditto C has to be in the third spot because C and G match up. And D and H do. Okay. So let's try this out. Let's try this out. Okay, using the figure at the right, AB would be congruent to which ones? Now you might say FE, but they have to be in the same order. And like we said, A matches up with E. So we go E, F, not FE. Oh, jeez, oh, Pete's Mr. Twiller, come on. F. E. That's because angle A matches up with E. Okay. Alright, next one we'll look at. Erase this stuff. Next one we'll look at is BC. BC is right here. And BC matches up with FG. F matches up with B, so we got that. Okay, angle B matches up with angle F. Okay, now let's see CD, it's the bottom one. Now a lot of people say GH, but no, 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 no. Because C matches up with G. So if C is first, that means G has to go first. And I go G, H. And the last one, angle D matches up with angle H. So where I see it, ever I see a D, I have to put my H down. And what matched up with A? Well, E did. He did! Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, forward and onward. If triangle WYS is congruent to MKB, what are the co congruent corresponding parts? I can do this without even drawing it. If W is first, it matches up with M. Okay, so I can say angle W congruent to angle M. If Y is second, and K is second, that means those match up. So angle Y congruent to angle K. And lastly, S is last, V is last, so angle S is congruent. To angle V. Okay. Now I want to show you the other thing we can do. Okay, so I can also go. Well, if I draw this out, WY will match up with MK. So I can say WY, my segment, is congruent to MK. Okay, again, if we draw this, WYS. This would be M, K, B. So you can check it if you want. And then I can go, well, Y, S is going to match up with K, V. And there's one more. This one's trickier. What about W, S? Well, that matches up with M, V. Because triangles are going to have six sets of corresponding parts. Alright. 
we're dealing with the same triangles from before. If W is 62, Y is 35, what's V? X plus and we have to find V. So first thing we have to do is V matches up with S. And we don't know S. So I'm going to draw this out. So we have W, Y, S. W is 62 degrees. Y is 35 degrees. How do we find this angle over here? Hopefully you guys remember sum of a triangle adds up to or angles add up to 180, right? So I get X equals Let's see, this is 97, 180 minus 97 is 83. It's 83 degrees. So if angle S is, is uh, 83 degrees, and the S matches up with V, that tells me the measure of angle V is also 83 degrees, because they are congruent. Okay, V matches up with S. Last, last. Bada boom, bada bing. Hey, by the way, speaking of jokes, what did the digital clock say to his mom? Could you give me a hand? <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to look at can you tell if two triangles are congruent? To be congruent, all the angles have to be congruent and all the sides have to be congruent. Like for this one, are these two triangles congruent? Why, yes they are because these two sides are congruent. I'll put two dashes. These two sides are congruent. These two sides are congruent. So we have three congruent sides. Well, the angles B and D are congruent. A and D are congruent. You might be saying, well, that's only two angles. But what do we know about vertical angles? These guys right here, the bow tie, those are congruent. So we have three congruent angles. If we have three congruent sides, three congruent angles, they are congruent. And sometimes you don't need all three, and it'll still work. We'll talk about that later section. Okay, let's look at this one. Are these two triangles congruent? Well, we have AD, it's congruent to DC, but we don't know any angles. If you don't know any angles, you can't say they're congruent yet. Anyway, we only have two sides anyways, because DB is congruent to itself. We don't know these. So justification is no only two sides are congruent. Again, you need three sides, three angles for right now. But wait, we have a theorem. Third angle theorem. If two angles of one triangle are congruent, two angles of an are, if two ang if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another, the third are congruent because they all add up to 180. So if you know these two guys are congruent, you know these two guys are, and these ones have to be, okay? For example, if A is 74, what's D going to have to be, guys? 74, they match up. If B is 44, then E is going to have to be 44. If C is 62, it doesn't say they're congruent, but they have to be because the other two are then F is going to be 62. So now if we want to prove two triangles are congruent, we only need the sides and two angles, because then the third has to be. Oh man, we do have one proof. I lied. Okay, let's make our box. Okay. Step one, it's our given. Okay, don't tell me I'm gonna get really lazy and put put given. 
Because they're up here. Guys, they're up here. But shh, 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 shh. Don't tell anyone, don't tell anyone. Okay, next step. Now we need uh, more information than just the three sides and these two angles. But what do we know about these two guys here? Can we say that angle ABE is congruent to angle CBD by vertical angles? Or vertical angles are congruent? Okay. Now we have two angles and three sides. We need one more angle. What are we going to know about angle E then? Yeah, that's right. It's going to be congruent to angle C by that theorem we just learned. That's your third angles theorem. Okay. And If three angles are congruent, three sides are congruent, triangle AEB is going to be congruent to triangle DCB by the definition of congruent triangles, of congruent figures. That's all there is to it, guys. Hope you enjoyed.